Hi everybody, it's Linda here. I want to do this really quick. Um, I know nobody likes watching really long videos. So here we go. I hear something, the American Spring is going to happen and um, everybody's going to follow a retired general to march on Washington, I guess, to get rid of Obama. Um, if he's a retired general, then he knows Obama's a puppet. So I'm confused on that one. So if you guys could elaborate on, am I missing something here? Because all presidents are puppets. They're all selected. If he was a retired general, he would know that, and he would know that that would cause a lot of probably destruction and chaos, which I think they want to do. Don't, don't get me wrong. I believe our country thrives on chaos. I believe this has been going on since they've realized they could create havoc and overtake different countries I call it the old world chaos. They call it the new world order. That, that almost sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds like we, the people, could run things without governments. But it's the old world chaos because it's never going to be order. It'll be chaos. Um, it'll, and, and my second thing was, I keep seeing something about February 15th, something's going to happen globally. Either it's a financial meltdown or something, not not in the United States, I wouldn't think, because tax time's around the corner, and a lot of obedient people will go and pay their taxes. Um, not me. I haven't paid taxes for a long time. I refused to a long time ago. Money doesn't stay in the United States. I, I also want to point out something. If you don't know about CAFRs or Comprehensive Annual Financial Reports, look into that, because you'll know how much money we're not in debt. This, this country actually has a lot of money. It's just we the people don't. Um, if you ever looked into how much actually even each state and city government has, you would be amazed. But they're pocketing it. Um, it's, it's for something else. It's not for us. Um, I wanted to throw a couple other things out there. First of all, we know that bankers are behind the selection of our puppet of the CEO of the District of Columbia, or, yeah, District of Columbia. Um, and we always name the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Soros, we Bill Gates, there's numerous ones we can throw out there. Um, we can throw out there the royal family. Um, these guys are too public. There's other people behind them. Um, I have my own opinions, and th I'm going to leave somebody's channel up. And... and the last time I did this, he kind of got trolled, so be kind. He's just putting up information. It's on her tube, and um, I'm going to leave his, his link below mine because um, you can go research everything he puts out, and you'll be amazed. Now, um, one thing I like to say, I, I do believe the Jesuits are involved, um, along with the Vatican, and I also believe that the Breakspear family in Switzerland is one of those illuminated family that controls the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and everything else. And I also believe most of the, well, all of the big countries are on board with this global chaos. Uh, maybe a few of them aren't, but the majority of them are. Like, we hear BRICS is going to do that. Well, that's funded by the West. You could go look that up. Um, so, you know, Russia, the United States, um, China... Israel, um, and all those countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, India, all of them are in on this together. It's always been this way. This is the new or the old world chaos, and there, it's always going to be that way. And sometimes they backstab each other, but it's for a reason, um, you know, just to put another puppet up there. And that's what it is, puppets. Now, what I say is we need to turn our power away from the whole damn system, but to do that, we'd even have to turn our internets off. Get rid of the television programming, turn the internets off. Don't use the postal system. Don't use the banks. I mean, you'd still have to buy gas and food. I understand that. But it would be a good damn start if we turned our power away. Or maybe just kept your internet on long enough to get to know people, enough to the people you would trust that you could get along with, and then they would know people they could trust, and you could start forming groups without being spied on by Google Plus and shit. Get rid of any cell phone you have. Um, 
The, Kenny does have a cell phone because he goes out more than me. When he comes in, he takes the battery out. There is no cell phones in my home. Um, I, I know they spy on you, and this is bad enough, having an Internet that spies on me. So we, if you really wanted to take the country back, because it's a corporation, you'd have to turn your power against that corporation. And the only way you could do that is hit them in the pockets because they're, they, they seem to want resources really, really bad. They want gold and silver, and they give us paper, and they want oil, and they want uranium, and they want a lot of toxic stuff. And that kind of gets me scratching my head because the whole planet's becoming fracked and mined and toxic. You know, what the hell is this bloodline anyway? That's for another day. Um, anyway, Tube, I'm going to leave his channel below. He also has a website. Be kind to him. He's just throwing out information. I like do three or four shout outs. I've never done this before. Um, the True Ray, Shine, you're awesome. DJ Moore, awesome. Joe Mama. Please continue doing videos. They've been awesome. Matt, resist the tyranny. You probably, I think you're awesome. Um, I'm so glad we can cordially agree to disagree on some things. I have a Native American perspective. I wanted to throw you out there because uh, I know I just probably left you a really long thing on there. I think you're awesome, though. And um, I think now that's all I can think of. But I, I wanted to send my love to everybody. Peace, love, and truth. And... Whatever this thing is coming up, this, uh, you know, well, if the world's coming to an end on February 15th, why would we have an American spring? Really, think about that. Um, but whatever this American spring is, he's a retired general. He knows Obama's a puppet of the bankers, the international bankers, who are controlled by somebody else. So why would you even go do what someone who already knows that that's just a folly? I'm just wondering, and I love all you guys, and um, tell me what you think. Peace, love, truth, and I'm out of here.